at the pictures. A new battery of tests is being developed by the Down Syndrome Research Group on the University of Arizona campus to improve the way in which researchers can assess cognition in individuals with Down Syndrome. Two years ago, we started working on a battery of tests to assess different neuropsychological functions in Down syndrome. So we all know about IQ and that that's a kind of a broad assessment of cognition. But what's really exciting about neuropsychology is we can look at more specific aspects of learning. And um, these are types of learning that are linked to brain function. And they really give us an understanding of how kids are learning and how that's linked to the functioning of their brain. Right now we're working on the development of a standardized battery for the 8 to 18 year old range. That's the sort of adolescent range where, where, where it's easiest to develop tests that one can really have adequate controls for in the typically developing population. So the basic idea is to test um, cognition and learning and Down syndrome and um, we are looking at three different areas of specific neuropsychological function and these are based on what we expect would be impaired in this population. Um, the three areas that we focus on are prefrontal function, hippocampal function, and cerebellar function. Um, the prefrontal cortex basically um, allows us to plan and to um, utilize information from the environment and work with that information. And so we have um, tests where the kids learn specific rules and then they have to switch and use a new rule um, after they've learned a rule previously. Um, so that's the prefrontal function. Hippocampal function is basically um, learning and memory memory skills, so developing a concept of what um, where something is located in the environment. And we look at how kids learn that across trials. We can see their learning curves on those sorts of tests. For that, a specific test that we use is we have a um, virtual arena where they find a target and they use a joystick to navigate in the arena. And then the last aspect of cognition we're looking at is cerebellar function, and that's basically coordinating what um, a child's seeing with what their hands are doing. So hand-eye coordination, that kind of kind of thing, motor skills. In neuroscience, one's research doesn't always have an impact in the real world, especially if you're doing basic science. You'd, there's usually a, a gap between what you're doing in the lab and how it actually impacts on people out there in you know day-to-day -day life. This was a this was an opportunity to do something that would have more direct impact.